This is Medea Benjamin, and you may have seen her in countless videos advocating for the rights of the Palestinian people. She is the co-founder of Code Pink. Despite everyone knowing her in Congress, it is really disturbing to see the injuries she recently sustained at the hands of police. Now take a look at this. Now this is the woman that has been advocating at Congress almost daily. And the fact that they know who she is and they are being this aggressive is crazy. Take a listen. Here talking and they're saying that the U.S. budget of a trillion dollars for militarism isn't enough for all the threats we face in the world. You know why we face threats in the world? Because we support genocide. That's why we face threats. And we, if we stop supporting genocide, if we stopped, yeah, then we wouldn't face these threats in the world. So I say, yeah. Yeah, why are you doing this in the hallway? Excuse me. Excuse me, why are you doing this here? So isn't it ironic that the person who speaks out for peace and international law and respect for U.S. law is getting treated just... like this in the hallway? What? I'm obviously a, such a great so she's, she's, she's yeah, she... she probably will be about 100 lawyers signing on to this letter talking about how the U.S. is violating you please... Leahy laws, is violating the State Department's I'm old laws, okay. and is... Uh, and, and, and that's going to the judiciary. This is, I want people to see this is how they treat peacemakers. This is Officer this is how they treat you She's doing in the public when you speak out for stopping a genocide. If you were supporting a genocide, you would be in there being lauded for your work. Everything is upside down. Everything is backwards. People who support morality, decency, an end to the killing, an end to the suffering, an end to the starvation are treated as if we are terrorists. And I'll be taken to jail right now. And I am being treated. Look at how I'm being treated. I mean, it's disgusting. Medea, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, people in Gaza are being treated a lot worse than this, and that's why we're doing this. I have been arrested before oh, in Congress this building. Adler, they please, do not. The lawyers are saying that the U.S. is violating its own laws by sending weapons. Will you call for an end to the transfer of? I'm going to grab the bag. Uh, okay. Grab the bag. I can't. We must speak to you, Congressman Adler. Call for an end 